Um, when we're doing break fall classes, I don't like doing lots of break falls, especially you haven't done them for a long time. Uh, so you know, when you're training, uh, probably no more than four to six of a type of break fall in one session. Um, the ground here is pretty soft, so a bit more. Um, one last break fall, which um, you probably could use in, in, a, in a Malay. Um, definitely coming for a bicycle or a motorbike or a horse, definitely. Um, <laughs> The break fall that I showed you, um, front break fall, back break fall, side break fall, are all good when there's not much momentum. Yeah. Right, the throw, okay, and also the height, tight, um, about a metre and a half tops is break fall. Right, there's a fifth break fall we're going to cover today, the parachute break fall is for heights above one and a half metres. Right, the next break fall is that I either elect to do a dive or I'm running and I slip forward. If I slip forward, I haven't got the strength to arrest it with a front break fall, I just got to plant my face. So the other break fall we do is the rolling break fall. We're running along, hit the ground, roll, and then you either come up, keep running, or go into a side break fall. Alright? So don't do this. <laughs> so rolling break fall, um, it's not a somersault, because I train a lot of kids and they're always doing somersaults back mm -hmm. in the net. Yep. It's a shoulder roll. So we hit the ground and what we're trying to do is we're um, Two ways of doing it. Um, some people do it this way, some do it this way. Um, I prefer this way because if my hand's like this, I do it wrong, I snap my hand. But sometimes, you know, if I'm doing it you know, here like this, I, I prefer this. Back of my hand, up through this chain here, through the shoulder, down to the opposite hip. Yeah. And that's the line that you're taking. All right? So it's not a over the top somersault, it's a, a roll. And if you find this hard to do uh, here, the best way to train is to hold a medicine ball. Right? Okay. That's why I have medicine balls in my dojang, my gym, for people that can't break those. Hold the ball, and they roll over it, and they get used to being disorientated. So today, um, the way you learn it is that you start off low, you know, put your hands on the ground like this, support yourself, use this back leg, pushes you up onto your leg, and you just come over into side break ball. Okay? So that's one way of learning it at the beginning. Okay? Yep. So have a go at that. Yeah, keep the halfway mark. I'm going for the full yep. <laughs> That's a minute. Nice. <laughs> yeah, good David. Um so yeah, so that's rolling break fall. Um any questions on break falls? Okay. So we have front break fall. Okay? Like this. So the first thing you do is land in your forearm. Okay? We have the back break, modified back break fall where you sort of I mean I, I was taught to land directly down my spine line. Um, okay when you're on the gym with nice mats, but outside not very good. Um, <coughs> reason why I modified the brake fall is just in Australia, one guy on a horse, hit the ground in the back brake fall, and um, he wasn't very happy because I uh, had the armour on as well. Came off quite high speed, said, oh, back brake will be alright, and I didn't turn. So after that I said, well, it doesn't work under high pressure, so I just modified it to turn. Right? Side brake fall is the one you're using the most, most of the time. And the rolling brake falls, um, if you're in a Malay and you want to get out or you want to be uh, tricky and you can do a rolling brake fall and stab somebody, it's pretty flashy, flashy move to do in choreograph fighting. But the two, the, take out this one here, I'll be working your front brake fall and your side brake fall. And then I'll work your um, modified back brake fall. And if you're up for it, the rolling brake fall. There's um, some medical evidence that suggests that doing brake fall practice regularly makes your bones stronger. Mm. All right? I haven't seen it, I've heard it second hand from several people, um, to take it with a grain of salt, but it, it, you know, getting used to hitting the ground, it's, it's a good skill to have. Okay, thanks guys, we'll do a quick warm down, and uh, any questions?